i am going to be needing two fabrics for this top the first is going to be a rectangle shaped fabric and the width of my rectangle shaped fabric is going to be 42 inches okay so that's how wide the fabric is going to be the length is going to be 20 inches how long the fabric will be so the second thing i need is a band and this particular band has to be wide enough to go around my waist once or twice okay so this is what i'll be using to tie the top and i'll attach my band to the rectangle fabric and we have a top so how did i get the width for my top okay the rectangle fabric how did i get the width i draped this on my body okay so i just literally took a fabric and i draped this on my body and then i indicated the points that i was satisfied with the cow neck the two points and that's how i got the width so you can do this if you want to get your own width or you can work with my width i feel like my width is going to be good enough for slim medium and fat i also took my time to measure out the original top the top i use in creating the youtube shot that you guys saw and requested for the video i took my time to measure out the original measurements i have on the top including the hemming allowance and everything and for the width i got 42 inches which is what i'm working with on this video and for the length also i got 20 inches that's for the red angle fabric i got 20 inches for the length i also measured the band and that's the same measurement i'm using for the band on this video fabric um what fabric did i use i used this very very soft crepe okay this fabric is really soft and it is really like light it is not hard so i'll advise you to use a soft shaky silky fabric and i also use one and a half yards of fabric for this top now making the top the first thing we're going to do is grab the red angle shaped fabric and i'm about to show you how i cut out mine so i'll indicate the width of my fabric now i told you guys the wideness is going to be 42 but the fabric i have here on the table is folded into two so i'm literally saying 42 divided by 2 which is 21 and I'm, i just marked 21 here and then the length i told you guys is going to be 20 inches and i'll indicate 20 inches this is how long the fabric will be now mind you this fabric is folded into two and me marking 21 does not mean that 21 is the width okay my fabric is folded into two and 21 is just half of the measurement okay so this is my rectangle that i am trying to shape it out like i'm just trying to indicate the full rectangle so i can cut and take the next step right now it's looking like a square but trust me when i cut this and open it up you're going to see that it's a rectangle fabric okay the width is wide while the length is just 20. so this is it i'll open it up so you can see that this is a rectangle shaped fabric and from here to this other side is 42 inches now i'm going to be reducing the sides of my rectangle okay and i'm going to be taking 2.5 inch inches out from each side of my rectangle shaped fabric and why am i doing this um i'm doing this because i realized that anytime i try to make a cow neck and i do not reduce the sides it ends up looking some kind of way it ends up looking funny especially the ones that are sleeveless okay so i just realized that i need to be taken away from the side so that the center front is more longer than the sides so i've taken off 2.5 inches and i just connected this back to almost the center front there was no measurement to this i just eyeballed everything and this is what we have so now i'll just go hem all sides leaving the base okay i'll hem here I'll hem the top or hem this other side and then the base where we just took out 2.5 inches we're not hemming we're going to be attaching the band to it now for the band so this is the fabric for the band 
my fabric here is 15.5 inches long that's the length and i'm going to be folding this into two so it doesn't matter i'm going to be folding this fabric into two for my band okay i'm trying to create a band now you guys how wide is my band my band is really wide i'm going to even join two fabrics together to get the wideness i want for my band i want to be able to wrap this around my waist twice because there's this particular illusion that i wanted to see on the top and i did it now you guys this is not the first creation you know right this is just me showing you how i did the first creation but then i updated some things what you're seeing right here we're not on the first actual top that i did the diy but i had to update because i wanted to wrap the band around my waist twice which the other one the fabric was not enough but anyways i'm hemming the sides of my rectangle the top the sides and i'll also join the two bands like the two fabric i have for my bands i'll join them together so this is the fabric for the band and now i have a middle point which is like the center front for me now I'm going to fold this fabric into two give it a good press and pin okay i'm pinning the center front together but this is now the final result of my band it is now seven inches when i folded okay it is now seven inches because i folded it into two so this point here is now my center front automatically my center front and i'm just going to pin this right side facing right side and you guys were going to be taking a particular measurement i want you to take your tape and place it from your left side on your waist to your right side on your waist okay and that's what i'm going to be doing here why is because i am going to be pleating my rectangle on this particular measurement so that whatever i have sits on the front and almost the back okay so when i did mine the total measurement i want my um breath angle fabric to sit on is going to be 24 inches 12 on the left 12 on the right so from the center front i'm going to the side by 12 inches and from the center front i'll go to this other side by 12 inches and i'll just go ahead and pin this because i'll be sewing in the rest okay the rest of the band i'm going to sew that in i'll just sew in by 0 0.75 inches and at this point i was just trying to um give my band a different finishing i just wanted it to look somehow i didn't want it to be like square so i just did like some kind of shape okay you can do whatever you want to do but i just gave it one kind of <laughs> one kind of shape and this is happening at the at the edge of the band so now i'm going to be attaching my band and the rectangle fabric that i have prepared and i'll show you how so this is the band i'll flip this to the right side so i can iron this before I, I start attaching what i need to attach so this part here you need to take your time to really iron your band make it flat like you really want all edges to be flat and remember that i left space in the middle of my band which is from the center front to the right and from the center front to the left there's a space there the 0 0.75 inches that we sewed on the other side of the band see i'm folding it in i'm hemming it like i'm not hemming sorry i'm just folding it in and i'm ironing okay just for it to lay flat taking the exact measurement i use in joining the other side okay and this is what i have so this is my rectangle fabric i'm just going to look for the middle point that's what i'm doing now i'm trying to get the middle point which is my center front on my right angle fabric so i fold it into two i'll iron and that will automatically show me where the center front or the middle point is try to trim because i needed all points to be equal before i just indicated my center or middle points all i have to do now is place the middle point of my rectangle fabric to the middle point of my band so middle point sit or middle point i'll open the space place my fabric in between the band so center front or center or middle point sorry sit in between the band middle point and i'll pleat the rest to this opening 
so i'll pleat everything i'll make sure that i pleat everything you can do gathers you can do pleats it's up to you but just make sure that that space that you have left you are able to pleat your fabric in between your band okay see what i'm doing i'm pleating my in between my band the opening i have on my band i'm just pleating everything in between it and i'm pinning this why i do what i'm doing because i'll take it to the machine just the way i have pinned and i'll sew on the band i'll top stitch on the band to close the space and also to sew it together to the rectangle fabric so this is it um at this point i was done pinning i'll just start sewing so i'll be sewing very very close to the edge of my fabric that's the band fabric I'll be sewing very very close to the edge so i can join the rectangle to the band and you guys this is the top okay very easy diy i know i made it lengthy because i wanted it to be detailed i wanted everybody to be able to make one but very very easy diy now this is the last step if you don't want to make your cow neck deeper you can stop here just go ahead and attach the two upper sides together okay so the down part has been attached to the band now the upper side just join the two fabric together like this right side sitting on wrong side and just sew by one inch and once you do that this is the result you're going to get your cow neck is going to not be deeper like it's not going to be deeper it's just going to be like this and to me i feel like this is like decent enough your cleavage or your breast is not going to show so yeah if you want to stop here you can stop here at this point you have a top a very sexy beautiful stylish top available for you but then if you want yours to be a little bit slotty you want your breast to show just like i wanted my own breast <laughs> this next part is optional okay so what i did now to make my cow neck my cow neck deeper i cut out a tiny fabric which is 13 inches long or 12 inches long and then i used interfacing i ironed the wrong side of the interfacing to the wrong side of my fabric and i'll cut this out i'll just trim what i'm trying to do now is create like a very small band a very short tiny band that i'm going to be attaching to the neck part of my top okay and this can help me get like a deeper cow neck where i get to show my cleavage. <laughs> Where i get to show my breasts okay because that's what i wanted so right now i'm sewing on the wrong side of my fabric and i will cut the excess out i'll flip my fabric to the right side i just want to create a like i said a very small band that i'm going to be using to attach to the neck part okay the first one what i did was i just cut out a band and i just attached it to the two sides on the neck but here now i decided to make a band that i can be able to create a buttonhole on so I, I will use my buttons to be able to control my top so i can either wear the cow neck not so deep or i can wear it deep okay depending on how i decide to button it that day so i decided to create something that has button instead so i can control how i'm able to wear the top now i'm not just restricted to having a cow neck that is deep I can now control it to either being deep or being shallow okay so this is the band i'm attaching it to one side of the neck of my top and this is what it looks like and on the other side i'm just going to attach a button and then i'll create button holes on the band okay so i'll just create button holes giving it like two to three inches away and now i can control how I wear this top okay so some days i can wear it shallow other days i can wear it really really deep okay so depending on the mood that's what i'm going to be serving but you guys this is how i made the top um this is not like the original one like i said i did some small updates but i still showed you guys the same process i followed okay just few changes and i hope this helps let me know in the comment section what you think Thank you for joining me on this video. I hope you find it interesting. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and also help me share this video, okay? And I'll be seeing you guys on the next one. Bye.